Hello everyone, welcome to the 12th session of The Guardians. I'm Danny, I'm here with Benji and a new um, burger to our rank, which will be Nico. Um, I will, let's actually do the round of presentation. We can start with you, Benji, even if everyone knows you already. So, so I am Benji. This time my title is now Intern of the Week. Uh, very proud of it. It's an achievement. Um, Danny here, uh, unfortunately, has taken the title of Intern of the Month. I'm very jealous. That's because of the background. That's because of the background. <laughs> and uh, Nico, however, um, unfortunately, little beginnings, you know, Intern of the Day. It's a good start, but uh, maybe next time he'll be Intern of the Week and I'll get Yeah, I'll be break. working very, very hard to, to take Benji's place as the Intern of the Week, of course. <laughs> exactly. Without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> Couple so, of statistics. <laughs> yeah, statistics. For this session, we have uh, 4,744 answers. We have less than, than last session. Um, the snapshot was taken on the 5th of September at around 9 a.m. Um, unfortunately, uh, we have 500 people around this that is below the threshold, but you will see uh, later on in this presentation that's it's we do something a bit special for them uh, so no worries uh yeah benji i think you can take over indeed in terms of uneligible um the camp three which is camp 2000 and above are entitled to the reward as we mention it on all of the communications that we do and we have a max cap for the people the few lucky people who are over two million points now, this time, we're not going to be sending an email to address the ineligible because what we have done is actually sent a reward out to everyone. We did some calculations and we noticed that it would actually not cost that much to run a little experiment and see if sending out a reward, even if very small, spiked some interest in the Guardians program and actually um, made people buy tokens to be eligible next time. So we decided to run that little experiment, which meant everyone got something and, uh, and we are not going to be sending them an email telling them why they didn't get anything if they did. So this time, this email will not happen. The sustainability score, as you may know, is the score that dictates if Swissborg is doing well in terms of numbers or not so well. Here we're doing okay, considering it's a very slow summer. We're on 3.8. Now it is good to note that the last month hasn't been taken into account when we're presenting those numbers. So it could change a little bit, but more or less this should be the final number. If it does change, it will not be that much and it will not impact too much either. In terms of the pod's current status, we are getting richer and richer in terms of Borg. Um, we're going to be buying, we have bought back actually 3 million tokens uh, in terms of monthly to monthly 707,000 in April, 824,000 in May, 816,000 in June. And the Q2 buy, which is on top of all of that, was of 690,000, which adds up to more than 3 million, which is really good for the price for the token in the long run, and we are obviously going to continue to do this. What's going to happen next month or next quarter or so is that we're going to be calculating how much Borg we're going to be putting in the pool for the next vote. And it's going to be between 1 million and 1.1 million, which is more than we've ever had so far. So the airdrops are getting bigger and bigger, which means that going from the camp here right now to the next one, is going to be very rewarding. And we're going to see on the chart later on how rewarding it is exactly. Thanks, Benji. Uh, now if we look at uh, this quarter's uh, pool, we have around uh, $138,000 worth of Borg. So that's 900K Borg. And you can see that as always, we've allocated some to the safety net uh, as per your votings, the Guardian's contribution being at like 34, 35%. Uh, of course, always sending some of it to the burn. And finally, the last option which you chose uh, in order to make a promotional campaign. And this means that for this fourth option, I uh, will have a promo campaign with a budget of around about 24,000 uh, USD. Danny, you're, you're speaking in the wind. <laughs> 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 All right, well, it's it's because I'm like fearing a bit that moment, but it's time for my uh, number speaking exercise. So <laughs> let's let's get to it. One million two hundred seventy nine hundred two hundred. 
140.73 Borg plus I will <laughs> 165 uh, Borg, which means uh, we have in the safety net around 1,444,000 uh, Borg. Um, second exercise, 1900, uh, 90,160 <laughs> Borg. I think I will never get it right, but uh, <laughs> 254. Uh, 1,000 Borg, total uh, 273,000 Borg, so to be burned. And about that, we already uh, did do the burn. So we posted on Twitter or X. Uh, we had 275 Borg burned. So that means that the pot is actually now negative, uh, negative 1,400. Um, so yeah, we have an. Finally, what most of you um, are looking for is like the number of rewards. You got it already. We made the distribution a few days ago, uh, and it's like 314,000 Borg. So this is how you can actually see the difference between the rewards for each camp. How we calculate is that we use the old um, kind of voicing power to reward ratio. And we multiply it to the lowest amount of points you need to be in the camp that you're on right now. So if you're on, for example, 12,000 points, it means that you are in camp four and we will take 7,000 points as your uh, point amount and reward you for that amount. Which means that, for example, if you had 15,000 Borg, you would have 11 Borg of reward. However, if you were on camp 20K, which is only 5,000 more than, or 20% more than uh, the example I was taking almost, then you would have had 32 Borg of a reward, which is suddenly almost triple. So it's very interesting to see how far you are from the next camp. And if it's worth going there, knowing that the rewards are getting bigger and bigger every quarter, and you might just be missing out a little bit. There is also a 10% boost that you are eligible to if you have voted in three of the last four sessions, uh, which means that if you are in one of those cases, you'll find your reward being on the column that is on the right under the 10% section. And we did a little test where we gave two Borg to everyone on camp two and one Borg to everyone on camp one, just to see if it enhanced activity and interest in the whole program. Yeah, I think it's very interesting to just, also you can see if your reward is on that sheet, it obviously should be, but you can see where it is. And if you could have had more, by, for example, being more consistent on your votings or just by having a higher camp, or maybe it's also worth it to go lower. Probably not, but who knows? Uh, now for the promo campaign, uh, as discussed, it's going to be specifically focused on highlighting uh, really the value of the smart engine. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to advertise on two of the channels that we're con currently uh, using. The first one is on X. Uh, so we have this first, uh, basically creative, which is a video that very concisely in about 30 seconds uh, explain to people what the smart engine is, what it does, and why they might be basically want to uh, use the app. Benji, maybe you can play the video right now. Unlock smarter trading with SwissBorg. Our smart engine scans top exchanges to secure the best rates for you automatically in real time. Every trade optimized with just one tap. Whether you're a newbie or a pro, SwissBorg empowers your crypto journey. Download SwissBorg today and trade smarter, not harder. Nice, thanks Benji. So uh, some of you might have spotted a few details uh, that we need to polish. Uh, we're also going to get it done uh, also in French so we can also advertise in the, the French market. And finally, another one that's uh, not already uh, in the works, but uh, soon is the whiteboard explainer video. So this is just a video which in one minute is going to, to highlight in a different way uh, the value of the smart engine. And we're going to run this one uh, on YouTube. So that's it. Um, Guardian page, if you want to have the latest update on everything concerning the Guardians, you can go uh, scan the QR code and you will see all the results of all the different Guardian session. Uh, we'll probably have a little rebrand of it, but um, the link will stay the same. So if you want to check uh, what was the result of the seventh session, for example, you can go on the, that page and you will see it. The um, result for the 12th session is not yet um, updated, but it will be by the time this video is uh, 
aired. And if you don't want to miss the next session, which you will not want to, uh, considering the reward size uh, and obviously just the importance of the whole program uh, altogether, uh, you have to make sure that you submit your ideas by the end of October. And then November is the month, the month where you want to remember, hey, did I vote? If yes, cool, congrats. And if you didn't, you want to make sure that you go on that page that we showed before or that you look at your emails to make sure that you click on the link that will send you to the type form where you'll be able to enter all of the information. Uh, this you'll have to do before the end of November. And then we will be calculating the results and we will be doing this nice and cozy video that you've just uh, enjoyed, hopefully, uh, again for the 13th session. Now, are the rewards going to fall on Christmas Day or not? I don't know, but maybe. What we do know is that it will be during the month of December, and then obviously the program will re restart in January, where it will be changed a little bit, but don't worry, we'll change it in a good way. But obviously every now and then we do bring some changes. It comes along with an article, we explain it in the video, new information will be provided, but keep it in mind, it's not going to stay the same forever. With that said, thanks everyone for watching. Thanks Danny and Nico for being here and helping me out. Uh, hopefully one of us will be intern of the month, which isn't Danny again, but we don't know. He does have the help of Cyrus on his shoulders here. <laughs> Nico, thank you so much. It was really fun to have you and uh, see you next time. Yeah. See you.